SOLIDWORKS, there's really a wide variety of customizations that can be done. In this video, we'll cover some of the more common customizations such as uh, user templates, like the drawing part and assembly, sheet formats, sheet metal tables and weldment profiles, as well as a design library and toolbox data. We'll show where some of these are how to back them up, and then how to reference them so that they're continually updated. Let's start with the templates. These are things like the part template that can include preloaded parts, or the uh, drawing templates with different views, and even assembly templates that, that include different settings from the document properties. Let's start with uh, the, the templates, backing them up. So these are located on the local disk, and they're actually in a hidden folder. So on Windows 7, we're going to reveal that by going into the folder and search options, clicking View, and then making sure that this Show Hidden Files and Folders is checked right there. So that's going to reveal this program data folder to us, which we're going to go into the SOLIDWORKS location, the SOLIDWORKS version, and choose the, the templates folder to back up. So we're just going to make a, a new folder here called Backup SOLIDWORKS custom. And we're going to dump that in there. The next bit of, of information we want to back up could be sheet formats. These are the things uh, on the drawings that include the title block and, and other parts lists or tables or things like that. So these are located actually um, within that same folder. Except they're in the language location and they're going to be in English sheet format folder. So let's back that up as well. We're just copying to a, a familiar location in this case, the desktop. There are other things like sheet metal gauge tables, bend tables, or weldment profiles, and others. Those are going to be in the program files location on the local drive. So we're going to go into that and choose the SOLIDWORKS Corp root folder, then to the SOLIDWORKS location and choose uh, language and English. And this is going to take care of a lot of the uh, a lot of different types of customizations. Next we'll want to take a look at the design library. And that's where um, a lot of the re repetitive motions are taken out of SOLIDWORKS and you can create things in here um, like organic shapes, parts, or surfaces. So that is located uh, the, in the background. That's located in the program data folder as well. So we're going to go back there to the SOLIDWORKS location just like before. And again, these could all be done sequentially uh, once you know the location. But I wanted to reiterate where a lot of this stuff is. So here is the design library. And lastly, we're going to find the toolbox data. And this could be, along with any of the others, this could be on a network drive. But um, sometimes if users are are working uh, amongst themselves or 
or in a non-collaborative environment, it'll be right here on the local drive. So it'll be in a folder called SolidWorks Data, and this includes anything from whole wizard, uh, inclusions or exclusions, different standards, or um, different modifications to the, uh, the hardware. So once that's back, so once we have all the, the copies of this backed up, there's an option in, uh, up in the options, system options, called file locations. And here is where you can set these different locations to reference where um, the customizations are. So we're going to add a location here. We also can do that for the different uh, design library, for instance, and, and the different tables and settings that we did, such as that.